23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The community coming together at the Mechanics Bank Convention Center for the annual prayer breakfast. The Bakersfield Prayer Breakfast has been an annual tradition for 40 years, and it's meant to bring the community together in prayer for the growth and prosperity of the city. This year, Rocky Fleming was the keynote speaker for the event. Rocky's keynote message focused on peace. Right now, all eyes are on the jury in the trial of Leslie Chance. Chance is accused of killing her husband back in 2013 and leaving his body in an almond orchard. After hearing closing arguments, the jury began deliberating yesterday just before 4 p.m. They came back today to continue their deliberations at 9 this morning. If found guilty, Chance faces the possibility of life in prison without parole. We do want to note, since Chance's last trial ended in a mistrial, if this case ends in a mistrial, the prosecution will have the option to refile charges against her. If the jury returns before the end of this uh, day, we'll be sure to bring you an update right here and, of course, on our mobile and tablet app and our website, turn to 23com Meantime, the city of Bakersfield is sharing the progress that's been made after complaints of homeless encampments. These pictures are from along the equestrian trail near the Kern River. The rapid response team began the cleanup process and they showed before and after pictures of the cleanup. City officials say the rapid response team funded by Measure N cleared the area this weekend. And we saw that dense valley fog this morning and it really hasn't cleared out of the area. So temperatures are still above average, but a bit cooler than expected. We are tracking the chance to see that fog early Friday morning, potentially on Saturday as well. But then we are going to be seeing our next rain event moving in late Sunday throughout the early morning hours. Monday it looks like most of the precipitation will be staying to our north, but not ruling out the chance to see some showers here on the valley flow and the potential for some light a floor, excuse me, some light snow in the mountains, and then we are going to be drying out to end your January. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.